Hey everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share a new quote anklet DIY. I always really liked the idea of wearing an inspirational quote or mantra around my ankle so I could be reminded of it with every step. As you can see here, I chose a quote from Captain Marvel, reading, Higher, further, faster. As always, you can totally add your own flair to this project, making it a personalized name, band name, movie title, initials of your friend or family member, a location, or much more. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button for more jewelry DIYs and follow me on Instagram at knackfornauts. So without further delay, let's get into the tutorial. To start this DIY, you will need scissors, a ruler, and a clipboard. Alternatively, you can use tape if you don't have a clipboard. You will also need letter beads to spell the quote you want, or alternatively, any beads of your choice. For this anklet, I'm going to use hemp cord. However, if you don't want to use hemp cord, you can use embroidery floss, wax polyester cord, yarn, or whatever you choose, as long as you are mindful of the thread thickness and the size of the holes in the beads you are selecting. Finally, I'm using some 11O beads as spacers, but these are totally optional. To begin, I am cutting three strands. First, I cut two strands that are 40 inches long. I am then cutting one strand that is 24 inches long. This shorter string will be used as a core string for the anklet on which we will thread our beads later. Tying the three strands together using an overhand knot, I clipped the end to my clipboard and began braiding a length of three inches. This braided end will form one side of the anklet which enables you to tie it on easily at the end. Once the braided tie on this side is complete, I'm going to tie another overhand knot to secure the braid. We are now going to begin what is called a square knot. I made a square knot tutorial several years ago, so I hope I will do a better job explaining it today. If you already know what a square knot is, you can totally speed through the section. To tie a square knot, I am first taking the shortest cord and ensuring this is in the center, while the other two longer cords are on each side of the core string. The core string becomes the cord on which we thread the beads and tie the knots onto while the longer exterior strands are the ones we actually use to make the knots. Taking the longer two exterior cords, I am first taking the left cord and forming a four over the central cord. Next, I am taking the cord on the right hand side and passing this over the tail of the left cord we have just brought over the core string. I am then bringing this cord underneath the core string and up and through the loop you have maintained on the left hand side. You can then pull these ends tight to form your first square knot. If your core string gets caught up in the knot, you can simply give it a gentle pull. While you are knotting, you will want to ensure the knots are pushed up and that the core string is not exposed. To make our next square knot, we will do the mirror of what we just did on the left hand side. I am first taking the cord on the right hand side of the core strand and forming a backwards four over the central string. Next, I am taking the cord on the left hand side and passing it over the tail of the backwards four. I am then passing it under the core string and up and through the loop formed by the right hand side string. Finally, I pull the ends through to make this tight around the core string. This process is then repeated for several inches, alternating between tying forwards four knots and backwards four knots and pulling the opposite hand side string through the respective loops as you proceed. It's important to alternate between these knots starting on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, otherwise the pattern will start to spiral.
Once you have tied approximately one inch of the square knot pattern, we get to the part that's even more fun. It's time to add the beads. I decided to put glass beads as spacers outside each word I wanted on my anklet. So first I am threading one of the glass beads on the core strand, pushing this bead up to the square knots I have already tied. Next, I am proceeding to tie a normal square knot, keeping the bead pushed up against the previous knots to hold the bead in place. Once you have tied the two square knots, the bead is securely in the anklet. You can then add the next bead in your sequence. I am going to start with the word higher. I am repeating this process for the rest of the beads in my sequence. You'll find that making this anklet really starts to go quickly once you start adding the beads. And before you know it, all the beads are added and we can complete the pattern. To finish the anklet, I'm going to tie another inch of the square knot pattern. When this is complete, we can tie another overhand knot and then braid 3 inches to complete the other side of the anklet ties. Finally, this anklet is completed with an overhand knot and you can cut off any excess cord. Now the anklet is done and ready to wear. You can use the braided ends to tie on the anklet as tight or as loose as you prefer. If your quote is super long, you can even make the anklet extra long and add more cord to tie the anklet around twice. You can also make the quote shorter and use less square knots on either end to make things like bracelets or keychains. If you do wear this every day, do keep in mind that hemp string will soften over time with wash and wear and eventually the hemp cord will wear out, making it a fun accessory to wear for the whole summer. I hope this tutorial was helpful and inspiring for your own summer anklet projects. If there are any tutorials you'd like to see next, please comment down below. If you guys try out any of these DIYs or have any questions, please tag me on Instagram at knackfornauts or use the hashtag knackfornauts. I really enjoy seeing your creations. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time.